Have you ever wanted to cook like a wine country chef? It's not impossible. In fact, you can take a restaurant dish and cook it yourself at home. At our chef's table, I get insider tips from a wine country chef who shows me how to prepare his recipes at home. Michael Miller is in the kitchen at Trevis Restaurant. It's a modern American uh, restaurant that combines the classic techniques in dining and brings it to, to today's concepts of using sustainability and organic produce, which causes an ever-changing menu daily. Trevise, a Michelin-starred restaurant, is in California's Santa Cruz Mountains wine country. This is the hot rock seared Arctic char. Here's the vegetarian. This is the scallop. We're going to table 12 with this. Yes, sir. All right, Ken, here we are. Table 12, please. Chef Michael and his kitchen crew turn out a mouth-watering array of appetizers and entrees popular with locals and visitors alike. Wow, this is <laughs> This is delicious. <laughs> but he says you can make restaurant-style food at home. All it takes is a few pointers. So I'm meeting up with Michael to get those pointers. What do you think? Where should we head first? Well, probably we should think about proteins first. Our plan? Shop for ingredients to cook two dishes on Trevise's menu. Well, I thought we would do it's a seared scallop. It's seared and then it's paired with a cold soba noodle salad. It's more of an Asian concept or flair to it. And then the other one would be the duck side of duck, but it's prepared in two different ways. One is pan seared, served rare of course, and then the duck leg is uh, confit and then served almost like a, a fried chicken leg. The duck is served with Napa cabbage, sort of slaw with cilantro and uh, red onions and an oatmeal roll. Okay, should we get some scallops? Then? Absolutely, yeah. Hi, can we have a half a pound of uh, sea scallops please, nice and round as best as you can find? Thank you very much. So what if, Michael, you didn't like scallops? Is there an, an easy substitute here? If we wanted to and the scallops didn't look as nice as these do, uh, prawns would be a great substitution. Salmon, you know, or halibut, whatever people like. It's, okay. That's, that's the, the, the whole point of the fun of this is that it's, there's no rules. Our next stop is the poultry counter. The restaurant recipe calls for duck. All I'm seeing here is frozen duck. You know, it's fine. We, I don't think we have much time to thaw out the, the duck if we're going to serve it tonight. This chicken looks fantastic. We could just get pre-portioned legs and, and breast and then cook it two different ways at home. Let's do the pieces. It sounds easier to okay. me. Okay. Thanks a lot. So substituting chicken, are you going to save some money when you substitute chicken for duck? Oh, absolutely. Duck is a, a high-priced item in most cases, and a lot of grocery stores won't even carry frozen duck. Next on our list, soba noodles, mirin, chili sauce, and sesame seeds. For the chicken, in-season plums, Napa cabbage. It's got Napa in it, we gotta get it. That's just too clever. Green onions and cilantro. And instead of the complicated oatmeal roll on the menu. Why don't we get something simple? Polenta might be really nice. We've got everything we need, and we're off to Michael's home kitchen. I am excited to make all of this. All right, I'm gonna give you this bowl and start pulling the leaves on the cilantro. I'm gonna get this in the water that we have going back here. This should cook off fairly quick. A little ponzu sauce, a type of soy citrus sauce, and some honey goes in. Smells good. Oh, those cook quickly. Yeah. So we'll just add a little bit into there. And you can toss that around. We're gonna get our green oh, onions in there. Throw yeah. that in there. Oh, some of these things. Oh yeah. That's gonna give a nice flavor to it. While we chill the noodle salad, Chef Michael prepares the scallops. I begin to plate the dish. Just like a little bit of There you go. Like Leave that. a little bit of room for around the noodles so they can see the sauce and we can we can get the, the contrast of the hot and the cold. See now that's kind of restaurant thinking. Leaving room around the edge of the plate. And in no time the scallops are ready. We'll put it right on top. Can we put them all on there? Yeah. Why not, huh? What, what do you think? Do we have room? Yeah. Michael makes a sauce from the pan and pours it over the scallops. Now it's wow. ready to taste. Mmm, so good. 
Really de Thank you. delicious. Thank you. And spicy. Compared to Mike's restaurant dish at Trevise, we come pretty close with our homemade version. So we're going to make our entree now, which in the restaurant is duck, but we're going to use chicken instead. Cabbage and fennel for the cabbage slaw. We're going to toss that right into that bowl. Along with green onions, fennel, and sunflower sprouts, which we're adding because they were fresh at the market. Michael puts plums in the oven, roasting them for a sauce. And even though we bought a bottled vinaigrette at the market... We're going to squeeze this orange in along with it. This is going to make it nice and refreshing, and it's going to provide a nice citrus bite to it. Ah, be nice kind of dressing plums. up the dressing. Exactly. Next, Michael makes the polenta while I put the slaw in the fridge to chill. At the restaurant, we do duck two different ways. One is a confit, and the other one is a pan-seared duck breast. We can almost do the same thing here, but it's a lot of work to confit. It takes overnight. Instead, we'll sear and then roast the chicken. That looks like a restaurant. That looks so good. When the chicken and plums are done, Michael ladles the sauce from the roasted plums over it. The polenta's cooked too, and we're ready to plate. This is uh, taking the place of... Uh, oh, the complicated oatmeal thing at your restaurant. That's right, the oatmeal rolls, which takes about 10 people to do. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. That. The chicken leg goes on top of the cabbage slaw, and the sliced breast goes on top of the sauce. Some plums for garnish and a drizzle of plum sauce complete the dish. While Michael picked a Riesling for the scallop dish, he recommends pairing a rosé with the chicken. We should definitely try this. All right, let's cut into it. We dig right in. Get all these little veggies in there with the, pol the polenta. That's fantastic. The plum sauce is so good. It's a, like a version of a barbecue chicken in a way. Oh, it's so good. Let's try it again with the wine. All right. And there you have it, two dishes inspired by a restaurant. Just goes to show it is possible to cook like a wine country chef at home. Thank you for a delicious meal, Michael. It was so fun to make it, too. My pleasure. Thanks for being here.